With a yo ho ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play in Azuma 11 3 Team Ogre Attacks. In the last episode, Team Ogre Attacked. This time, we're reducing the tone somewhat and just recruiting Ghoulian Haunter. He's only level 4, which is a pity because he's from the connection map. If he was a bit higher leveled, I might have used him to be honest because. Actually, I could do with another forward. I'm a bit sick of having all the story related ones But before we get into the main business of today's episode, which means going to a Press conference about Little Gigantes and Brazil. I've saved up some more money throughout this game I swear I already have a club room key. I don't know why you can buy more than one but the sweet shop key is something I did not have, so I'm going to purchase that. I should also ideally be purchasing some of these for the extra competition routes. Or you can buy some good moves. Might be worth thinking about whether I want to use any of these, actually. I'll save the money just in case there's anything in particular I need to buy later on. But let's dive into the menu for a second because now obviously I've just bought the sweet shop key so now I can finally use it and that will unlock the side gate to the Ryman gym. Apparently I don't need to activate it, I just go. But also I picked up the Memories of Asia ticket because just while my computer was restarting and I needed to pass the time I knew that I did not have the Memories of Asia ticket which is like a 50% drop when you do the um, the match against Fire Dragon in the competition route. I'll, look, I'll show you firsthand whenever you do the Fire Dragon match in this extra competition route, it's only got like a 50% chance of dropping the ticket which you need to unlock Asia United. But that would be the end of the route, so I'm actually going to knock that out quite quickly and show you what the reward would be for hopefully S-ranking the entire route. I've S-ranked every other match, so I just need to not mess it up here. But if I'm not mistaken, Asia United is just three, you know, the three Asian teams that you actually played against throughout the first few chapters of the game on one team. Yes, indeed, you can see that. So let's get a goal upon them. And then we will do the next important, I was going to say important thing. I don't think going to the sweet shop counts as an important thing, unfortunately. But it is what we're going to do. I can't be bothered getting any closer with Axel. Let's just rip with Grand Fire. I don't tend to do this much in story matches because it kind of takes away the tension and the skill necessary to actually get goals. But here, this is just an extra competition route match. Who cares? I will go with the most broken move in the game and I will just take that free point. So, see you when something important happens here. Well, it is 30 minutes into the second half and I have failed to S rank this match by one goal. I only needed one more shot. But I failed, and I'm frustrated, and so I'm going to take it out on Gazelle by flattening him with a planet. And you know what? He bleeding deserves it. Ah, I'll have to do that again some other time to claim the S rank reward, but at least we can claim the normal reward, I guess. Let's see what it is. There is another competition route. Yeah, that one on the side. You need to take on Neo National and run the 50% lottery if you want that. But we've got Perfect Zone Press, which was very worth doing before the post game, actually. Perfect Zone Press is one of the best defensive special tactics in the game when we only had Box Lock before. So that is extremely worth having, and that's why doing this extra composition route is a good idea. But now, we have got the sweet shop key, so we need to go to the sweet shop. I have very much adjusted to saying candy and candy shop while being in America, but for you guys, I am readjusting. Kick open that gate in term time, 
and you can explore this place, which hasn't been accessible since the first Inazuma 11 game. It is just one map screen, but you can actually get Emperor Penguin number three in a move manual here, which is pretty insane. And we can get Ticket from the Future. Let's see if that is usable right now. I'm guessing not. Yeah, we don't have any sort of composition route that would help with at the moment. But let's go and buy some sweets. Maybe this, maybe they have some Swedish fish. And to be fair, Mao and Pinballs is something that I would miss if I was in America. And Swedish fish is something that I'll miss if I'm in England. But here, there's a guy who doesn't say anything until you finally say what's the password which strangely is cappuccino that is spelt with two p's and two c's not much of a starbucks or costa customer myself but i guess all power to this person if that's what they're into i'd rather save me endless amounts of money no, I don't, no, that came out completely wrong. No, I don't have an endless amount of money. I mean, Starbucks and Costa cost an endless amount of money. Uh, do I even try to explain it? That was a real bad way of saying things. But this is the only shop in the game where you can buy Hellfire, Astrogate, and Gladius Arch. And there's a few other things here as well, including Study which is basically the lucky egg from Pokemon. It makes you level up faster, which is honestly a great thing to have, but I'm going to leave it. One day I'm sure the Wi-Fi service for this game will be shut down and then all of that stuff will become inaccessible. So we can hardly call it fair now, can we? So let's get back on with the main story now then and head, that's not the right place, Central Leocott Titanic Stadium to get involved with a press conference on our semi-final opponents. Because guys, we are in the top four of this tournament. That is like really good, the top four. Ah, it's you. So you've come for the press conference, I take it. Prime Minister! Wow! You're here too! Yeah, we came to find out more about the Cote Victoire team. <sighs> and if world leaders are being invited, this can't be a regular press conference. Well, it's being held by Zulan Rice. When he invites you to something, you attend. Zulan Rice? Where have I heard that name? Did you forget, Mark? He was chairman, weren't he? He's the chairman of the FFI board. But that's not all. Zulan Rice is also the coach of the Brazilian team. He runs a huge oil conglomerate called Universal Petroleum. Rice is known as the Emperor of Oil, and it would be no exaggeration to say he has the global economy in his grip. <laughs> There's no point in voicing that like. Ah, speak of the devil. Victory will be ours! Aventoria! 
What a relief that I didn't have to voice act that myself. I wouldn't have a clue how to say all of that Portuguese. And there goes the... Right, so Cote Victoire didn't turn up. That's a shame. Don't they want to talk to us in Italy, eh? Zulan Rice mentioned world peace and harmony in his speech, but the reality is that these are in short supply. It's sad to say, but there has been a marked deterioration in relations between countries since this tournament began. But I have faith in football. I believe in its power and what it can give to people. The whole of Japan is right behind you, Mark. Do us proud. We won't let you down! Negative. Let's search over there. Huh? What's going on? Is it any of our business? Do we need to snoop into that? Well, we're going to. Excuse me? Is something the matter? This doesn't concern you. Get lost! There you go. That's exactly what I expected. Charming! Didn't your mother teach you any manners? Don't take it personally. Zulam Rice's security guards treat everyone like that. No, no, then who's this? Rice has more than his fair share of enemies. There are always plenty of people sniffing around trying to find out more about him. Enemies? Really? But listening to him speak now, he sounds so nice. There are all kinds of ugly rumours going around about Rice. People say he only got the Brazil coach job because he paid for it. The price of oil has been rising steadily, and they say that Zulam Rice is to blame. Oi! Um... Uh, oh, oh, right, it was his guard saying that. That shady character in the red cap is around here somewhere. Find him. An old man in a red cap? Could it be him? Could he be here? Well, we'll have a look then, shall we, I suppose. This, this is a complete episode of unrefined goals. Just wander around and do whatever you feel like, and it counts as advancing the plot ever so slightly. Well, here he is. It is you! What are you doing here? Huh? What? Hmm. <clears throat> You came along at just the right time. I'm actually in a spot of bother. Really? What's wrong? Well, the thing is... I've gone and got myself completely lost. Huh? I was trying to find the bathroom, but have you seen the size of this place? You don't happen to know where the exit is, do you? Uh, oh, it's over there. Much obliged. Look after yourself. Hmm. I thought that might be Granddad. It looks like I was wrong. Uh oh! I nearly forgot. I'm gonna be late to training. I'm. I'm glad that sound was just like an alarm bell, because it sounded very, very ominous ominous but anyway yeah that was the guy that they were looking for is he granddad we're not too sure because seemingly he only wanted to speak to mark to find the bathroom but we're gonna go back to camp and perhaps some sort of objective will lay itself down because you know we do have a match against italy coming it might help to have some sort of plan Let's find out what we're going to do, eh? You're late. I want 30 laps of the training ground. Now. Y yes, coach. Blimey, that was a training session and a half. He worked us into the ground. 
I bet it's because Coach Travis wants to pay Ray Dark back for all that Cherry Blossom Junior Eye stuff. No, you're wrong. Percival Travis is not a man who lets his emotions rule him. Whatever he's doing is for your own good. For so many years now, Ray Dark has struck fear into everyone he meets. He is a man who is always alone, always apart. There was a shadow cast over his childhood by his father, Tom. I think the scars remain. I remember once I saw a video of Tom Dark playing. It must have been footage from when he was at the peak of his career. He was an incredible player. He was indeed, and I'm sure that Ray Dark was very proud of his father. It must have hit him hard when his father lost his form and faded. He came to hate the game of football. It's a sad story. But if he hates football so much, why does he want to use it to get his revenge? I've never really understood that. That's just the way Ray Dark's twisted mind works. I suppose so. Right, you lot. No slacking. You need to get training. You've got to face Italy. <laughs> Come on, Hillman. You're fit as a federal. I cannot wait to face you on the pitch, Mark. Hey, Paolo, you got a call. Someone called me? Who could it be? Just hopping under that sorbet stand. That's all I can think of when I see the Italian flag on an outdoor bench. Allora, listen to me, everybody. We will try a new type of training. Si, pazzo? Are you crazy, Paolo? Why would we do that? It makes no sense. That is what he said. He said if we train like that, it will help us win. T Tavero? Really? B <sighs> And he said he would return soon. A fantastic call. Keep it down. We were told to train in secret, so Senior D does not see us. Ah, I see. This is so exciting. Senior D, if we can get this right, well, you will see. Hello, Rahide. You are certain that L is here, the person Signor D is sending money to? If you are right about why Signor D is sending that money, and if Paolo and the others train hard... Yes, something is bound to happen when Inazuma National play Italy. Papa accepts that Signor D is a gifted coach, but he said he would never forgive him for taking his job as Italian coach. I want to see him use his gifts as a coach and show us what he really has. So you must be L. Interesting how uh, that blonde kid that nobody really paid much attention to before is actually revealed to be the co the ex-Italian coach's son. At least that's how I interpreted it. I'm fine. It's time to end this. I still feel angry when I think about Ray Dark, but I want us to win, to be the best in the world. That's what matters most to me. Mark, we can do this. We're going to win, and we're going to show the world we're number one. 
You're right, Jude. Dun 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 We are number one. Don't forget about us. Now look at this net that I've just found. That's enough of that. Never could keep your trap shut, could you, Stonewall? Come on, it's time to get going. Let's head to Condor Stadium. So we will do that next time. This has been Tile of the Toaster and uh, wow, it's actually quite nice to see the upstairs of the dorm now that I think about it. I'm pretty sure I already cleared it out of treasure chests a while ago, but uh, there you go. This is the upper floor of the dorm. Let's go to bed. Bye-bye. <laughs>